Welcome to FZBA Simple Class. Today, I shall be teaching you how to prepare phosphate buffer solution. To start with, what is a buffer? A buffer is a solution that serves to maintain a stable pH when little acid or base is introduced into the solution. In another word, a buffer resists a change in the pH of a solution on addition of a small acid or base. However, a phosphate buffer solution is most commonly prepared with monosodium phosphate, designated as acid, and its conjugate base, disodium phosphate, or monopotassium phosphate, designated as acid and its conjugate base, dipotassium phosphate. Thus, to prepare your phosphate buffer, you will need the following materials. 1. Monosodium phosphate and disodium phosphate or monopotassium phosphate and dipotassium phosphate. 2. A weighing balance. 3. Beakers and volumetric flux. 4. Mayoring cylinders. 5. Distilled water. 6. A stirrer. 7. A pH meter. 8. Phosphoric acid to make the pH more acidic or sodium hydroxide to make the pH more alkaline. Procedure for the preparation of phosphate buffer. Notes. Intermittently, we will be considering 1 liter of 1 molar or 1 mole per liter phosphate buffer solution. Step 1. Decide on the concentration of your buffer solution. Most buffer solutions are at their best buffering capacity at concentration between 0.1 molar to 10 molar. But remember the concentration we are considering in this video is 1 molar. Step 2. Decide on the pH of the buffer. The pH should be within one pH unit from the pKa of the acid or the conjugate base. However, the selection of your buffer pH most often depends on the work the buffer is to be used for. Step 3. Use the Anderson acid batch equation, which implies that pH equals pKa plus log of conjugate base concentration over the acid concentration to calculate how much acid and the conjugate base you need. Select the pKa value that is nearest to the pH of your buffer. For instance, if you have decided on pH 7.4, use pKa 7.3 or you have chosen pH 7, then use pKa 6.9. On the screen, a pH 7.4 and pKa 7.3 are considered. pH equals pKa plus log of conjugate base concentration to the acid concentration. Therefore, 7.4 equals 7.3 plus log of conjugate base concentration to the acid concentration. Making the log of conjugate base to acid concentrations the subject of the formula, we have log of conjugate base concentration to the acid concentration equals 7.4 minus 7.3. This equals 0 0.1. Finding the antilog of 0 
or you simply say 10, zero, 10 raised to the power 0 0.1 equals 1.2589. Thus, conjugate base concentration to acid concentration equals 1.2589. By cross multiplication, conjugate base concentration equals 1.2589 times acid concentration. Nevertheless, the concentration or molarity of the buffer is the sum of the concentrations or molarities of the acid and the conjugate base. That is, Acid concentration plus conjugate base concentration equals the buffer concentration. Remember, our buffer concentration here is taken to be 1 molar. Then, calculate the concentration or molarity each for the acid and the conjugate base, as shown here on the screen. Acid concentration plus conjugate base concentration equals 1 molar. Substitute for conjugate base concentration to get the value of acid concentration. Remember, the conjugate base concentration from above is 1.2589 acid concentration. Acid concentration, therefore, plus 1.2589 acid concentration equals 1 molar. The sum makes 2.2589 acid concentration equals 1 molar. Then acid concentration equals 1 molar over 2.2589. This gives us 0 0.4427 molar or 0 0.4427 mole per liter. Again, substitute for acid concentration to get the exact value of conjugate base concentration. Recall that acid concentration plus conjugate base concentration equals 1 molar. That means 0 0.4427 molar plus conjugate base concentration equals 1 molar. Our conjugate base concentration is then equals 1 molar minus 0 0.4427 molar. This equals 0 0.5573 molar or 0 0.5573 mole per liter. At this point, you can quickly check if the acid concentration plus the conjugate base concentration equals your buffer concentration. Now that we have the molarities of the acid and conjugate base concentration, we can then determine the quantity in gram of the acid and the one for the base using mass concentration in gram per liter equals molarity in mole per liter multiplied by molar mass in gram per mole and measure or weigh with a weighing balance. You can always simplify your calculation to the quantity needed for the desired volume, if not one liter. Step four, prepare the solution by mixing the quantity of the acid and base weighed in a little less than the desired total volume of your buffer with water contained in a volumetric flask or a measuring cylinder. Step 5. Use a pH probe 
of the pH meter to confirm that the correct pH for the buffer is reached. Adjust slightly as necessary using phosphoric acid or sodium hydroxide. Step 6, which is the last step. Once you have reached the desired pH, make up the total volume of the buffer to 1 liter with distilled water. Here we come to the end of this class. I want to acknowledge and appreciate owners and authors of every material and image used in this class.